an Indian Elon Musk? Yes, it's possible now. But hey, it would be better to call them by India's ancient aeronautical engineers' names like Maharishi Bharadwaj or a more recent one like Pandit Subaria Shastri. Coming back to our today's topic, India's first privately developed rocket is going to be launched on November 15th. The launch of India's first privately developed rocket will take place from an ISRO launch pad. The mission has been named Prarambh, which in Sanskrit means the beginning. It represents the new era for startups in India's space technology sector. But why is Prarambh so important? Before we move forward, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. The more likes and feedback we get, the more videos we'll be able to produce for you. Earlier on our channel, ex-ISRO scientist Tapan Mishra had explained why it is necessary for India to put its eggs in different baskets when it comes to space research. One of the reasons he had mentioned was security. He had said, if there are multiple companies and multiple scientists working on space research, an external enemy will find it difficult to attack them. You can watch Tapan Mishra sir's interview from the link given in the description or from the box above. In the past, we've had many mysterious deaths of our scientists which includes that of Vikram Sarabhai too. Another reason is, private players will increase competition and space technology will be developed at a very cost-effective pace in India. The space sector is the future of the world. India's space sector was opened up for private sector participation in 2020. In 2021, Skyroot became the first space technology startup to ink an MOU with ISRO. The Praram mission and Vikram S rocket have been developed by Hyderabad-based startup Skyroot Aerospace with extensive support from ISRO and InSpace, which is Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center. The Praram mission is aimed at carrying three payloads in total. The rocket Vikram S has been named after the legendary Vikram Sarabhai and the propulsion system is called Kalam 80, dedicated to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Vikram is a series of modular space launch vehicles, especially crafted for small satellite market. Vikram series includes three rockets, one, two and three, the broadband internet, global positioning system, internet of things data and earth imaging are just some of the communication services that these spacecrafts are meant to provide. It is expected to enable the launch of more than 20,000 small satellites in the coming decade. The launch vehicles have unique capabilities like multi-orbit insertion and performing interplanetary missions. Vikram series 1, 2, 3 of full solid state rockets is built on upgradable architecture with carbon composite and 3D printed motors. This can be assembled and launched in less than 72 hours, believe it or not. The rockets can carry satellites of up to 815 kgs to low Earth orbit and the sun-synchronous polar orbits. Praram mission is going to be sub-orbital trip, which means it's intended to cross the fuzzy border of space but it can't maintain space speed once it gets there. In order to return to Earth, they must use the sub-orbital route. Think of suborbital as heading to space, poking your head into it and then quickly descending to ground. Apparently, Chennai-based aerospace firm called the Space Kids will be sending along a 2.5 kg payload called the Funny Sat, which was created by students in India, United States, Singapore and Indonesia. The Skyroot Aerospace had successfully raised $51 million or Rs 403 crores through a Series B financing round in September this year. This is led by the Singapore-headquartered long-term investment firm GIC. And this makes Skyroot the largest funding round ever in India's space technology sector by far. If Praram is successful, Skyroot Aerospace will become the first private space company in India to launch a rocket into space. Do you want to know how Indian scientists decoded the formula for black hole? You can head straight to our video on the man who knew the thoughts of God.